Hi, I'm Francois from adventurebiketroop.com. In this video, we're gonna look at the seven things I love about the old BMW R1200 GS. So this is my friend's BMW R1200 GS. It's a 2005 model. I've ridden the adventure models quite a few times in the past and I remember testing it this was one of the first bikes I tested for a magazine way back in 2009 and ever since I've loved the old 1200 GS's now these this is one of the first ones I think it came out in 2004 and this is a quick video on the seven things that I love about these old 1200 GS's so the first thing I love about the R1200 GS is the fact that the center of gravity is so low due to this boxer engine, this massive 1200 cc boxer engine that sits so low down on either side of the bike. Um, it is a massive bike, it's uh, over, well, it's well over 500, I think 550 pounds, so it is a heavy bike, but it never feels heavy. Every time I get back onto one of these 1200s, I'm amazed at how light they feel and how easily they are to maneuver. The second thing I love about the R1200 GS is the low seat height. Now currently the seat is on its higher position but you can also very easily by just turning the key removing the seat you can lower the seat by about an inch. Um, so I've got it at the higher setting um, and it's super easy to get on and off the bike and it's super easy i can actually flat foot it with uh, my sneakers i don't even have uh, motocross boots on at the moment so the third thing i love about the 1200 gs is and i have to show you by turning the key look at the mileage there 127 thousand kilometers so that is almost between 75 and 80,000 miles and this bike still feels uh, it feels new you can feel it's an older bike but I mean it, it rides perfectly it's smooth everything works um, it's just amazing how these engines um, just last forever uh, to give you an idea my um, this old Jimny of ours the 2010 model has about 130,000 kilometers 140,000 kilometers on it this old 1988 Samurai has 157,000 um, and the BMW, a bike, has almost the same mileage and I think it even feels newer than the old cars. So there's not many bikes where you can easily buy or comfortably buy a second-hand bike with 100,000 kilometers on it and you don't, don't have to worry. Yes, maybe the clutch might need replacement at some stage, there are some maintenance um, but the engine just keeps going. It's very much like a car engine instead of a bike engine that needs a rebuild every, uh, say, 30,000 miles. The fourth, thing, the fourth thing that I love about the 1200 GS is the fact that if it falls over, and it does fall over, it doesn't fall all the way flat to the ground. This big uh, head that's sticking out on the side, most of them has these crash bars, um, it'll lie on this so you'll still be able to get your hands underneath in there or wheel yourself in and then pick it up. I'll make a video at some point on how to pick it up but it's, it's not my bike and I don't want to damage uh, these fancy head covers. Um, but when I get my own I'll, I'll show that to you. But anyways, that is something that a lot of people uh, do like about the bike. Um, because if it's a normal parallel twin, twin and it falls flat, it's sometimes quite a struggle just to, to move the handlebars um, into the right position to pick it up again. Um, so yeah, that is something that, uh, is, that does help. And because the center of gravity, gravity is so low, there's less mass higher up that you have to pick up. That said, I know <laughs> these bikes are terrible in the sand. Uh, it's fine if you drop it once and it's fine to pick up but if you drop it five or six times in an hour, um, I've seen grown men cry uh, picking up their big 1200s. So yeah, there is that. <laughs> so the fifth thing that I love about the BMW R1200 GS, all the uh, big GSs, 
is the fact that it has a shaft drive. Um, the nice thing about this is there's less maintenance. You don't have to clean it every time you drive through mud. You don't have to clean it um, or adjust it uh, every time you go for a ride. Uh, it's just basically maintenance free. Yes, there's oil that you need to change. Um, yes, they do need replacement. This one was replaced, I think, after 100,000 kilometers um, for the first time and it's been fine since. Um, so yeah, that is just something if you, if you are not too keen on doing maintenance every weekend, a shaft drive is something nice. So number six of the things I love about the R1200 GS the older models, not the newer ones, or the 1250s, is the fact that it's uh, air-cooled or oil-cooled. You can see there, there's the radiator or the oil cooler, um, but there's no radiators down here. So there's very little that can get damaged apart from the heads, but it's got this crash bar. But there's no radiator that you could uh, damage with a rock that flies up. And um, there's the oil filter, but there's a bash plate underneath that. Um, but you can see the oil cooler is all the way up there. Um, and it's just one less thing to worry about on a trip. And then the seventh thing I love about the R1200 GS and the GS Adventure is the fact that it's such a comfortable place to be, especially on the highway. But at any speed, low speed, high speed, in the wind, in the rain, this is just the most comfortable position you can be in. Recently I tested the Norden 901, the Husqvarna, and there's a playlist up here somewhere. And I said um, it's a super comfortable bike on the highway, you don't need anything more. But this old 2005, I mean it's a 7, 18 year old bike, is 100% more comfortable than the Norden 901 on the highway. Just because of that massive windscreen. The way you sit on the bike or in the bike with this low seat um, and this massive amount of torque that is super smooth and linear. So this is just the most comfortable. I don't think anything comes close uh, in terms of a highway tourer than the big GS. So if there's anything I left out, please comment below and please also let me know what are the things you hate about the R1200 GS. Um, it's such a popular bike and you can see why and you can feel why, why when you are on one of them and I'm actually looking for one for myself but I'd love to get the adventure uh, but anyways you'll see more of this bike on the channel and I'll see you soon. Cheers!